Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new AGV K1S helmet. So this is a light iteration off of a very popular entry-level helmet from AGV, the outgoing K1. And in fact, if I bring up the current K1, and obviously ignore the extremely loud Rossi graphic, but it's almost difficult to tell the differences between the outgoing one and the new one. So we're gonna hit them right up front. The new one is gonna get a revised face shield, much more sturdy and stable than the outgoing one, much better seal, and it's still gonna be pinlock ready, but with a much better pinlock insert available for this. Taking a look at the back, you'll notice that on the outgoing version, the vents have changed to the new one. It's still gonna get that big swoopy spoiler that gives it its aggressive sporty look that's made this, this helmet so popular uh, for motorcyclists looking for an aggressive styled sport bike helmet that's not gonna break the bank. Price on this is gonna be 220 to 230 for the new one for solid colors. Graphics like this crazy loud Rossi looking thing will probably bump you north of the 250 mark. But aside from that, this new one is getting the ECE 2206 safety rating in addition to DOT, and those are your main changes. That's the too long didn't read. This helmet has become so popular in AGV's line, you can see they really didn't want to you know, mess with the DNA that has made the original K1 so popular, and that's why you're gonna see so much of that carry through to the new K1S. So I'm gonna pull this off the table so we're not distracted by this high neon Viz Rossi style. So, Taking a look at the K1S, if you're not familiar with what this is, this is gonna be a helmet that's really for the sport crowd that is you know, getting into motorcycling or maybe they want a quality helmet that's not gonna break the bank. Like I said, coming in around the 220 to 230 mark, this is gonna be an excellent option. It's become really popular for folks looking for more of an aggressive sport bike helmet. Thermoplastic shell, two different shell sizes with this, so not a lot of shell options. And again, that's where you're getting that more budget-friendly uh, pricing with this. Extra small and medium is one shell size. Large, extra large, and two extra large get the next shell size. DOT ECE 2206, that is one of those new updates with this version. Five intake vents, you're gonna see one, two, three, and then you're gonna have two at the front, two on either side here that are actually actuated from the inside. And then you do have that little push-up lip if you want just some venting inside the face shield. The, uh, the other piece here is that they've gone away with the medium small, medium large sizing. That was something that was very specific to AGV. And what you're seeing with their new revamped line of helmets is they've gotten rid of that and they've gone with more of a traditional small, medium, large. The medium in this case, when we threw it on the scale, was three pounds, six ounces, which was actually two ounces lighter than the medium small and four ounces lighter than the medium large in the previous version of this helmet. So in addition to everything else, they did make it slightly lighter. And considering this is really that entry level, more affordable price point, it's great to see the fact that this is three pounds, six ounces in the, uh, in the medium. Again, from a fit standpoint, and if you're looking at this as potentially your first helmet, you're not sure what we're talking about with fit, make sure you check out our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet guide where it walks you through the importance of an internal head shape. The internal shape on this is gonna be intermediate oval, slightly longer front to back, a little bit narrow on the side of the head. We've seen AGV get away from the very round internal shape that they've had in years past. Something that's gonna be much more comfortable for the American market. The one note here, as we've typically seen with a lot of AGV helmets, very, very tight to get into. They do a very aggressive neck roll with this and then very firm and very tight in the cheek pads. Uh, again, they're going after that kind of race style and you want a helmet that squeezes your cheeks nice and tight and AGV surely does that. So we've already talked about everything that's new. Let's just hit on a couple of features here. So like I said, the face shield has been redesigned. This is a new face shield, still very easy to get in and out of. This is something that we saw integrated in a few generations ago with AGV, but you simply pull this little red tab down, face shield pops off, you can pull it off, and you simply push it back down to install the face shield. So if you do wanna take it off to install a pin lock or to you know, clean it off, you can, you can do that very easily, very easy to swap shields on this particular helmet. The new shield, much better seal out of the gasket. 
and very sturdy. I like the fact that you do have just that little bit of airflow by pushing up on this, gives you a nice crack. And then the detents on this are relatively solid, especially considering the price point that this helmet is coming in at. Very solid in the full open position. And then again, even some solid midpoints there from a detents. Really like what AGV has done with the shield on this helmet. Again, from a styling perspective, very aggressive. You get that big Hawks build down in the front. You've got the big spoiler out back. And like I said, increased vents with the exhaust vents. Now the exhaust vents out back are passive. You can't close them, but you can close the front vents and that's where your active venting is coming into play. So if you close those, you have no air pushing through and then the, the rear vents just, you know, are kind of there. Let's take a look at the inside. Again, not much has changed on the inside, but for those of you, for those of you that aren't familiar with the previous version, um, we will just quickly take a look at this. It is a double D-ring closure, something where if you're considering bumping to like the K3, the K3 is a ratchet strap closure. So for those of you that really still like just the basic functionality of a double D-ring, I am one of those people. I like the fact that they didn't go with a ratchet strap on this. Now, some of the other features you'd get from bumping up to like a K3, you get that drop down sun visor and you get a bit more of a subdued design. So it's not really a like for like, but you could consider looking at the K3 if you like the idea of a drop down sun visor and maybe you want something that's not quite so aggressive with this. Pulling out the cheek pads, so you've got two snaps on either side and then you kind of just pull up and it comes out via the neck roll. And you'll see as we pull this out, you're gonna notice that uh, it's all connected. So very easy to get this in and out, nice contour to the cheek pad and you are gonna notice that this little tab on the inside says eyewear fit system. So they have a little kind of almost like a, like a detents in the foam to make it more comfortable for those of you that wanna wear glasses. We get a lot of comments saying, well, you know, why don't you tell us whether or not certain helmets are more comfortable to wear glasses with or not. Personally, I wear sunglasses with pretty much all of my helmets. I don't find it too uncomfortable. But for those of you out there that sometimes find discomfort. AGV is making strides with this version to have this little detents in the foam to make it more comfortable for wearing sunglasses or corrective lens glasses. I love the contour of this. I love how easy it is to get in and out, especially, and again, I'm gonna keep saying this, on a helmet, you know, sub $250 for the solid colors. Pulling out the liner, again, very simple. Only, only minor nitpick here is that it, they are snaps in the front and if, depending on how tight this is on your forehead, depending on your exact shape, you might feel a little bit of pressure from those front snaps. But personally, I didn't really find it to be an issue, but just something to note. Um, when you're wearing the helmet, when you're trying it on, we always recommend sitting in the living room, leaving the helmet on for about an hour before you go out to ride in it, especially if, if you're not sure if it's gonna fit and just making sure you're 100% happy before you ride it. Once you ride in the helmet, you can't return it. But if you just wanna try it on, sit in your living room, watch a movie on TV, um, make sure that you're not getting any pressure from those front points there. Other than that, very basic, simple liner. And you can see on the inside, you're gonna have not only uh, cutouts if you wanna add speakers. So there's actually foam pads in there now, but you can pull those out and they are deep enough that they should fit roughly some of the newer speakers that we're seeing that are a little bit wider, a little bit thicker, better high fidelity, but that makes the speakers a little bit thicker. The cutouts on these, you'll notice, should be uh, thick enough, that, or deep enough rather, that you can fit the new speaker designs. And then just looking at the channel cutouts here, super great airflow promoted through this. You can see how deep those channels run all the way from the front down to the back of the helmet. And again, all of this is even more impressive when you're focusing on the fact that this is a more budget-friendly helmet within AGV's line. So for those of you that were already fans of the previous K1, uh, I, I think there's nothing but more to love with this new version of the K1S. And I think there's a reason this helmet has become such a favorite within AGV's line. So for those of you that Want more information from riders that are out there either using the previous version or using the new one? You can always click the info button on your desktop and mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting an AGV K1S through its paces. And if you're not sure as to which helmet is right for you, your riding style, and what you're looking to do on a motorcycle, you can always reach out to one of our customer service representatives and they can walk you through the different options available to make sure that you find the right helmet to match up with your riding style as well as your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the AGV K1S. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.